Hi everyone, welcome to today's 15 minute home shadow boxing workout. It's a 15 minutes workout, three rounds, five sets per round, and one minute work per set. So let's go into the first round. We're going to show you some slow down demos of the combinations in the first round. So first combinations a jab, jab, cross, hook left, hook right. So one, one, two, three, four. So you can see using this demo just to perfect your technique before we get started. So jab, jab, cross, hook, hook. So especially turning the feet on those hook strikes on the three and the four. So make sure you keep your, your guard nice and sharp. So straight in. That's it. Let's go for it. Full speed, full power. Jab, jab, cross, hook, hook, change position. Jab, jab, cross, hook, hook, change position. So you should be getting a lot more speed and a lot more power the longer you do these workouts for. If you're just starting out, just try and focus on the technique. If you're really struggling with the technique, feel free to drop back to the uh, technical videos that we've, we launched last week, showing you all the punches that are in these combinations. So feel free to drop back to those just to help you with these combinations of these videos and in the future videos as well. So keep it moving throughout, full speed, full power. So one, one, two, three, four, change position. One, one, two, three, four, change position. That's it, so keeping that focus, keep hitting through the target. 10 seconds to go, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one, and recover. Next combinations are two, one, three, two. So cross, jab, hook left into the cross. So slow down to two, one, three, two. So you can see the first hand starting from the right side, so it's gonna be a two, one, three, two, straight through. Two, one, three, two. Okay, let's go. Full speed, full power. Two, one, three, two. Change position. So you can see hitting through there, keeping that energy, keeping that focus. So perfect the technique. If you're still struggling with the technique, slow it down a little just to focus on that technique. Once you've mastered it, I want you to ramp it up and get that speed and get that power. That's going to be what's going to enable you to get as much out of these workouts as possible. Get as many of these combinations in within each set as well to try not to go too slowly and let yourself off. I want you to go for as many of these combinations as you can. So 25 seconds to go. Keep it moving all the way through. Fifteen seconds to go. Hitting through that imaginary target, but changing position, testing your footwork. Almost there now. Keep it going. Keep that energy. Five, four. Three, two, one, and recover. So one, two, five, three, two. Next combination. So jab, cross, upper left, hook with the left, and into the cross again. It's a little bit of a fiddly combination, this one, but that's the point. It's going to challenge you technically. One, two, five, three, two. Okay, let's go for it. Full speed. Again, if you struggle with this combination, just slow it down a little just to perfect it and then quickly ramp that speed and power up. So one, two, five, three, two. One, two, five, three, two. So you can see so from the two, as soon as that's been landed, then the upper coming from the left side and then the left side again with the three and then finishing with the two on the cross on the right side. So hitting through that target. 30 seconds to go. So keeping the energy, keeping your core muscles activated as well. And we will have some videos coming up and showing you how to recruit your core muscles, which is key to, especially to these workouts, but any workout for that matter, especially functional training. So uh, keep an eye out for those videos. They will be coming out very shortly. 10 seconds to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and recover. Next combination is for freestyle now. So using any of the combinations you've done before in the other videos, or you can go with the same combination. You could go with something simple. If you've not done many of these workouts, you could go for a jab, jab, cross, and just keep repeating that. Whatever you feel comfortable with, put some ducking techniques, some slips, some covers as well, just to change it up as well. Okay, let's go for it. So mixing it up now. The idea is if you've been doing these workouts for a while now, try and change the combinations just to keep that variation, okay? And you can also challenge yourself in making some more complicated combinations. 
But if all else fails and you're really struggling, just go really basic. Even if it's just jab cross, change position. A jab cross, change position. So if you're really struggling with technique, just go really simple. Don't make it too complicated that you start to struggle to get a workout out of this. The main thing is to perfect technique and get an amazing workout. 25 seconds to go. Keep it moving. Keep that energy. That's it. Keeping your guard up as well. So even though you're focusing on the actual punches, keep that guard up. The guard is what protects you, so you need that guard up at all times. Five, four, three, two, one. And recover. Next combination is a one, two, five, six. Jab cross, upper left, upper right. So simplistic one, this one. That's it. Nice and easy, this one. Jab, cross, upper, upper. Nice and easy. Nice and simple, especially if you're struggling a little bit now. This will actually make it a little bit easier for you. But you should be able to get a lot more of these combinations out within this section. So keep it going. So one, two, five, six. One, two, five, six. Nice and tight movements. Okay, don't be too wide, wide and wild with the strikes. The problem with that is they might feel and look powerful, but you are going to leave yourself open. If you were sort of doing boxing or any sort of combat, if you leave your guard open, you leave yourself open to an attack, which is what you do not want. 30 seconds to go. So imagine an uh, imaginary target in front of you. You're hitting through that target, driving and stepping forward, especially into that first jab cross to generate more power. 15 seconds to go. All the way through now. Keep that energy up. You're doing so well. 10 seconds to go. One, two, five, six, change position. Five, four, three, two, one, and recover. Into round two now. Grab yourself a quick drink if you need it. We're going to go straight in again. So one, one, two, three, four. So jab, jab, cross, hook left, hook right. Let's go for it. Straight in, full speed. One, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four, change position. One, one, two, three, four, change position. That's it. Keep it moving. Challenge your footwork. If you do have a lot of space in the area you're training in, try and really challenge your footwork and try and move around as much as you can. Don't worry if you don't have a lot of space. Just use the space you've got. 30 seconds to go now. Keep that energy up. Don't let your energy drop. I know it's going to be easier to make that happen, but definitely keep your energy levels up throughout the workout. 15 seconds to go. Keep the energy. Keep hitting through the target. Keep that focus. 10 seconds to go. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And recover. Next combinations are 2, 1, 3, 2. So cross, jab, hook left into the cross. Let's go for it. Full speed, full power. 2, 1, 3, 2, change position. 2, 1, 3, 2, change position. 2, 1, 3, 2, change position. So try and master that speed, but first important area is technique. And then once you master the technique, you increase the speed and then you increase the power. And once you've got all three, you're just going to keep trying to go quicker and getting more power. But also you never, ever let the technique drop. That's the main thing. Keep the technique up. 30 seconds to go. Keep the energy up. Keep it going. Changing positions. Keeping the guard up. Activating your core muscles throughout this workout as well. 15 seconds to go. Keep it moving. Challenge your footwork. 10 seconds. Almost there. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And recover. Next combination is a 1, 2, 5, 3, 2. So jab cross, upper left, hook left into the cross. Nice and complicated with this one compared to some of the other combinations, but don't worry about that. Once you've got the feel of this combination, it will come to you and it'll be, uh, you'll feel easy with it as well, which is what you want. 45 seconds to go, so keep it moving. So 1, 2, 5, 3, 2. 1, 2, 5, 3, 2. Uh, six, you can see the 5 and 3. The 5 and 3 almost has turned straight into the hook from the uppercut. You don't want to go all the way back, then bring it back out again. Whilst the five is just starting to come back, you then turn into the hook 
and then follow it with the cross, the number two. This could take a little bit to master, but don't worry, in the end you will get this combination. 15 seconds to go, keep it moving, keep the energy up. Relax the shoulders, keep that guard up all the way through. Five, four, three, two, one, and recover. So next combination is freestyle to any of the techniques you've done so far in this video or even all the other videos. If you really struggle, just go for something easy like a jab cross or a one, two, or a jab, jab cross or one, one, two. If you're struggling, they're the ones to stick with and just keep moving, change the position, getting as much out of this workout as you can. If you're overthinking what combination to do, don't worry about it. Just go really easy, but just keep moving. If you're really into this and you've done a lot of advanced combinations, then really start to mix it up now. Try and challenge yourself with the different combinations and mixing them up and obviously the different footwork as well. 25 seconds to go. Keep it moving. That's it, hitting through the target. 15 seconds to go, keep it going, all the way through. 10 seconds to go, that's it, keep that focus. Five, four, three, two, one, and recover. So one, two, five, six on the next one now, jab, cross, upper left, upper right, nice and simple, straight in. One, two, five, six, change position. One, two, five, six, change position. One, two, five, six, change position. So nice and simple, but you can see how tight I'm keeping my guard. Okay, don't go too wide, wide and wild with the techniques and combinations. Okay, get the power and get the energy, but I'll bring the hands back. As soon as that punch has been landed, it's straight into the protective position. That's what you want. You don't want to leave the hands out and too long because you'll leave yourself open to an attack. So perfect your guard all the way through. 25 seconds to go. Keep it moving. So if you're struggling with the energy now, battle it. Really keep your energy levels up throughout. Don't let your energy drop. You want to get as much out of these workouts as you can. Do not let that drop and keep your focus throughout and keep your technique. Five, four, three, two, one, and recover. So into round three now, your last round, to so give it everything you've got. Combinations, one, one, two, three, four, so jab, jab, cross, hook left, hook right. Let's go for it, straight in. Get as much out of this workout as you can now, all the way through. One, one, two, three, four, change position. One, one, two, three, four, change position. So see how I'm turning the body into those three and four strikes, the hook strikes to the head? but I'm not over committing the strike to the point I over hit and again leave myself open. As soon as the hit's been given, it's straight into the guard position. Obviously the four is following the three straight in. So it's actually fighting against the bodies and we're moving across to the right side and firing all the way through to the left side. 20 seconds to go now, hitting through the target. Relaxing your breathing as much as you can. Relaxing the shoulders. Do not hunch the shoulders. That's going to drain your energy a lot quicker. 10 seconds to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And recover. So 2, 1, 3, 2. So cross, jab, hook left into the cross. Next combination. Let's go. 2, 1, 3, 2. Change position. 2, 1, 3, 2. Change position. If you can go faster than me in these videos, feel free to do it. I want you to get as much out of this workout as you can. If you can go faster with good technique and add as much power as you can, then brilliant. That's exactly what I want. That's what I want you to be getting from, from these workouts. So keep it going. Give it as much as you can, but keep that technique. 30 seconds to go. Energy is going to be hard now, but battle it. You're almost finished now, so keep it moving all the way through to the end of this workout. 20 seconds. Try and relax the breathing. If you're struggling now, still focus on that technique. Never let the technique drop. Even if you have to really slow it down, I want you to keep that technique. Train good technique. Five, four, three, two, one, and recover. Next combination is a one, two, five, three, two. So jab, cross, upper left, hook left into the cross. So straight in. 
This is the most complex uh, combination of the workout, but by now you should have mastered this one. So once you start to feel it, then that's it. You barely need to remember the numbers. You can feel that combination. You know how it works. So once you get to that level, that's when you can focus on the speed and generating as much power as you can. That's it, keeping the guard. And feel free, if you want to put some slips and covers in, in the middle of any of these sets and any of these workouts, by all means do that as well. Really good to mix it up. Okay, and it keeps it nice and varied for you as well. 20 seconds to go. Keep it going all the way through now. So hitting through the target, breathing out on every single strike. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, one, and recover. Next one is freestyles. Any of the combinations you've done so far on this video or all the other videos combined, mix it up. If you struggle, you don't really know what combinations to do, just go really basic and easy. Jab cross or jab jab cross is fine. The idea of this one is just to challenge you a bit more by trying to mix the combinations up within the set. So rather than just repeating the same combination, you get to mix the combinations up. So you can see as well, I'm occasionally throwing in a few slips or covers as well in, so by all means do that. Challenging the footwork, moving around the space you've got to make it nice and varied and challenging my footwork as well to try to tie the whole body into this. So even though people think boxing is an upper body workout, you should be using your legs. It's a full body workout. The so legs with the movement and the footwork, core activated throughout, and obviously the arm work and the punch work involved in the whole, the rest of the body as well. So it's a full body workout. Two, one, and recover. Next combination is a one, two, five, six, a jab cross, upper left, upper right. Let's go for it, full speed, full power. One, two, five, six, change position. One, two, five, six, change position. To keep the energy up throughout, this is a nice and simple one after that little bit more of a complex one of before the freestyle. So this one's just to keep you moving, especially later on in the workouts. You shouldn't have to really overthink the technique on this one. You should be just focusing on getting that speed and power and keeping the energy up throughout this whole workout. 30 seconds to go. Keep it going. Keep that energy up. So try not to slow down. I know it's tempting, but keep that speed up. 20 seconds. Keep that movement. Keep that guard up. You're going to want to start to drop your hands, but keep them up. Keep that guard up. That's what's protecting you. 10 seconds to go. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And recover. Well done everyone, fantastic, you got through that workout, it was a tough one, but give yourself a big pat on the back, fantastic. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already, turn notifications on, and please share and like these videos, it would really help the channel grow and I'd really appreciate it. In the meantime, stay fit, stay healthy, and I'll see you again soon.